has pressed the brake pedal in 2016. What really needs work in the ecosystem currently? It indeed is a testing time for homegrown Indian founders. Within the current investments that you're looking at, what will your focus be? E-commerce and fintech. We feel that e-commerce 2.0 is a very promising theme given that still a lot of retail is yet to go online. Happy employees make happy customers. So I think customer-centric companies solving large problems and and being early mover seems like the template working well. When there is a good combination of a visionary and an operator, then you are able to transcend from being a startup to a scaler. Hello and welcome, you're with us here on E-Inc. It comes as no surprise that investors have pressed the brake pedal in 2016 due to some of the irrational exuberance we saw last year. With heavy cash burn, rapid scaling without any demonstration of uh, unit economics in many cases and also of course those skyrocketing valuations, a lot of fundamentals uh, improving business viability have uh, of course been lost uh, in translation. So what should the startup ecosystem take away from these times? What are some of the things that investors are focusing on now going ahead when we're building the startup ecosystem? To discuss some of this, I have joining me today Sanjeev Agarwal, one of the founders at Helion Venture Capital. Um, Sanjeev, fantastic to have you on the show. Thanks so much for joining us. Let me just kickstart this by asking you how you have decided to go about identifying what really needs work in the ecosystem currently. Last year, it was all about the disruptive idea, finding that um, gem, uh, you know, in an otherwise uh, huge avalanche uh, of uh, startups out there. This year, what is the focus going to be on? I think at one level, Abha, this is a continuum. And we, if I were to take a slightly longer time horizon, in last four or five years when the internet penetration grew in the country uh, we have proven to be a very good uh, startup nation i think what is still work in progress is whether we are a scale-up nation and i think uh, from innovation to disciplined execution uh, that is the transition uh, that the entire uh, tech startup ecosystem is currently going through. And what that translates into is that a lot of uh, smart entrepreneurs have gotten their basic uh, customer value proposition figured out, uh, whether it is selling uh, low-end goods online or whether it is selling grocery online or whether it is selling apparel online. Uh, the next phase is really about how do you build a robust management team, a high quality uh, work culture, uh, fiscal discipline and the point that you made about uh, unit economics, capital efficiency. Uh, so I think we are going through a very interesting phase. And this becomes even more uh, interesting given that India being such an open economy, uh, the competitive forces are also uh, very, very strong. So it, it indeed is a testing time for homegrown uh, Indian founders who are slugging it out against uh, all nationalities, the Americans, the Chinese. I think they're all here. Sanjeev, how do you learn how to manage uh, you know the whole question of uh, capital and spending uh, when you're a young startup uh, everyone seems to think that the other side has uh, a lot more firepower and I know as a, as a firm you've always uh, advised uh, some amount of fragility or at least uh, uh, you know some kind of uh, measured capital spending how do you uh, explain to a young entrepreneur uh, what the metrics should be by which to judge that I think 
like uh, you can to simplify uh, this very complex question you can probably break the company into two parts uh, one part is about getting the product market fit right so whether you are selling uh, laundry or grocery or uh, apparel uh, does the customer like your offering uh, do the basic economics of your uh, offering work so i think that is the first phase which probably has to be done with very scarce uh, amount of capital uh, that is a phase that we call in our industry as lean uh, lean thinking phase that you put a minimum viable product uh, in the market and see how it uh, plays out and iterate and once that Uh, initial product market fit uh, is right i think then is the question of applying acceleration uh, which means putting money behind uh, marketing putting money behind uh, organization uh, probably breaking the company into multiple geographies so that you can uh, scale concurrently uh, so i think that is the phase to go really Uh, very aggressive on capital deployment because in the uh, internet world there are in many businesses uh, disproportionate advantage of being a first mover and if you have that then you don't want to uh, squander it away so uh, spend your early stage capital very frugally uh, but in the acceleration uh phase you need to make sure that you are very well capitalized so when you take a look at your uh, fairly extensive portfolio uh, sanjeev but when you take a look at it over the last couple of years and and, and see what's worked or what hasn't uh what would you say have been the key takeaways within the e-commerce space and within the tech space are there certain themes perhaps uh, which haven't played out or would you say that it's more a case of uh certain lessons that entrepreneurs have had to learn what would be your takeaway or or any insights you can share with us um you know in terms of learnings uh from this uh, you know from from all the change we've seen in the last uh, couple of years sure abha so we have uh, if we were to look into our internet investing we've been investing since 2006 and our noteworthy investments are starting from Uh, make my trip which was in 2007 uh, red bus in 2009 uh, taxi for sure which became ola uh, and then more recently shop clues and uh, big basket my guess is all of india's uh, e-commerce industry is probably about 10 uh, billion today on a non grocery retail of about 400 billion so we have only hit 2 and 1/2% uh, market share or penetration of uh, digital spend that has moved uh, online and very clearly what is working is one spaces which are very large and uh, hugely underpenetrated So, good example would be uh, grocery, which we play through our investment in Big Basket, uh, where the grocery sector is about 300 billion out of a 2 trillion GDP, and all of it is offline delivered through a mom and pop format because there is very little institutional retail in the country. So, large market is one. common characteristics across all our successful investments so make my trip would be another uh, interesting investment penetrating uh, large travel spend going uh, digital the second theme is that uh, in most cases there is an early mover uh, advantage as you know make my trip red bus taxi for sure uh, all these folks have been pioneers uh, in their sectors and three i think when there is a good combination of a visionary and an operator uh, in a team 
then you are able to transcend from being a startup to uh, scale up. Uh, we now have several of these companies that have become very valuable, including Shop Clues, which turned uh, unicorn. And that is one theme we find uh, run across that if we get a good thinker and a strategist pairing up with a good execution person, uh, then you are able to manage this transition from childhood to adult a uh, lot more seamlessly uh, without wheels coming off. And I think what is also common across all these uh, companies is maniacal focus on uh, customer satisfaction and the route to that maniacal focus on customer satisfaction is through creating a great work culture because uh, happy employees uh, make happy customers. So I think very strong uh, work culture and customer centric uh, companies solving large problems and being early mover in their uh, spaces seems like the template uh, which seems to be working well. Let's take a very quick break. We'll come back and speak to Sanjeev in a little bit more detail about some of his uh, current uh, investments that are in the spotlight. Uh, shock clues, big basket, lots more coming up. You've had such um, great exits, actually, uh, you know, Sanjeev, and that's something that we haven't seen too much of uh, in this space. You mentioned shop clues, and um, everyone's waiting to see if that's going to be the first big uh, IPO that we see from some of these unicorns. Is that something that's on the cards? Are you working towards that? Uh, what can we look forward to? I, I don't know when they would do the IPO. I mean, that would be uh, management would be the right uh, forum to comment on it, but I can tell you that uh, Shop Clues has grown in a very responsible way uh, in terms of capital efficiency, which is that how much capital they have consumed uh, to how much value they have created. And in terms of their unit economics, uh, they are certainly best in class uh, in the country. And they have chosen to play a different uh, market, uh, which is the mass audience who are looking to buy value for money products in tier two and tier three markets. And they're not running headlong into where Amazon, Flipkart and uh, Snapdeal is uh, playing. So I think it's a very, uh, very well differentiated offering uh, which is again a very big market these unstructured categories uh, and unbranded items uh, or value for money products is a big part of Indian retail it's like a bazaar being put online uh, relative to a mall being put online uh, so they're building out a very uh, high quality company and very good management team between Sanjay and Radhika so we feel that uh, they are building a lot of value and oh, how it will manifest in terms of uh, exit, I think that time will tell. Can you share with us as well, um, you know, with the last round that you raised, uh, how much of it is already invested? Is there, uh, you know, how much of a portion is there still uh, remaining or are you already looking at a next round? You could just bring us up to speed on that. So we are very well uh, capitalized uh, ABHA and I think we have enough uh, capital to uh, make the company profitable. So I think we are at a very good place uh, in terms of the way the company is uh, progressing on its uh, path to profitability. Okay, so within that and within the current investments that you are looking at, uh, what will your focus be? Is it going to be on specific sectors? Are you looking at more Series A, Series B? Uh, if you could just talk us through the strategy currently. Yeah, sure. Actually, we, we really like the consumption going uh, digital theme. Uh, 
which is partly enabled by internet and partly by extensive use of technology so we feel that e-commerce uh, 2.0 uh, is a very uh, promising theme given that still a lot of retail is yet to go online as i mentioned to you only two and a half percent of uh, india's retail uh, is currently online and new new formats new verticals uh, for example in our portfolio there is a company called lift space uh, which helps you do a home uh, online with some assistance from your uh, designer and the order values are as high as uh, $25000 uh, being booked through the internet so we feel that uh, there is a very large uh, set of verticals that are still waiting to be uh, captured there is this element of uh, social commerce which we play through a company like uh, wupler which i'm sure would be of interest to you uh, where uh, women uh, come and share their uh, share their best designs and and then folks start to comment on it and then they can uh, shop through a social angle so here you create a desire and then you help them uh, buy a product rather than somebody who's actively searching on a site like mintra uh, then there is the entire uh, rental economy uh, e-commerce which we are playing through a company called gozifo uh, which is becoming a destination for used goods so we feel that the broad horizontals uh, have already been set up uh, which has taken up lot of uh, cash uh, which has solved really three big problems payments logistics and marketplace and now with the advantage of this uh, technology infrastructure uh, there is a way to build very strongly capital efficient company in uh, vertical markets uh, which is what we are looking to participate in our second big theme is uh, financial services going online we've been a very active investor in financial services uh, one of our portfolio company called equitas recently went uh, public and uh, we are investors in several other financial services uh, businesses and we feel uh, now with the internet penetration and the basics being put in place lot of lending and payment uh, will come online uh, whether it is uh, student loan or whether it is smbs uh, so fintech would be the other uh, big industry i would say these would be our top two core industries e-commerce and fintech and then we always get surprised by some new sector uh, which is going online logistics is one such uh, candidate where there is lot of inefficiencies so those are the kind of things that we will continue to uh, participate in we'll take a very quick break we're talking to sanjeev agarwal founder helion venture partners on where they're looking to invest uh, the rest of their corpus what's looking good right now do stay tuned we'll be back in a moment Wanted to get your thoughts on Big Basket as well, Sanjeev. It's a model that, along with the rest of the grocery space as well, has been struggling to find exactly the right fit, and a lot of money being pumped in as well. Do you see any question marks around it, or do you see it just taking a longer gestation period? What are your thoughts there? Yeah, no, I think it's a great uh, vertical to be in because it's a three hundred billion dollar uh, sector. and very hard to deliver great customer experience and there are two ways to play grocery market one is inventory led which means you source from the farmer and you deliver to the plate of the customer which is the model that big basket has adopted and other is a marketplace model where you pick up from the retail store and you try to deliver it to the consumer and i'm sure through uh, demise of many companies in the marketplace model 
uh, you know that doesn't deliver a great experience or great uh, fundamentals big basket actually delivers very high quality customer experience uh, almost 99% uh, on time and delivering all goods as they were ordered so those are two very important uh, metrics they have the best gross margin uh, in the industry worldwide uh, they make about 20% uh, gross margin which is uh, exceptional in this uh, category and their growth rates are uh, stellar while you are building a category leader i think you do need to invest in the fundamental management and technology infrastructure so i think will these companies continue to consume cash uh, the answer is yes but i think they have stood out as a company in terms of their uh, execution prowess and that is why you would have noticed that even in a tough funding environment uh, they were able to successfully raise 150 million dollars uh, very very recently in a round in which helion participated and was led by abraj uh, capital so we feel that uh, that model is uh, getting validated through this two very important metrics very high gross margin and very strong customer experience and i think the profitability will uh, follow sanjeev there has been a, a fair amount of restructuring at helion itself uh, just uh, you know just wondering how that's coming along uh, has that uh, changed in any way the kind of uh, portfolio mix you're looking at or um, are you you know in in terms of succession planning going forward from here uh any new thoughts anything you'd like to share with us because there've been some uh you know reports and some amount of concerns about uh, how this would perhaps impact uh, some of the entrepreneurs so just wanted to uh, uh get uh, your comments as well uh, no thank you for asking abha i think we are certainly uh our strategy doesn't really change because uh, we have been a tech investor now for a decade and that is what we uh, like we have been uh, uh, we have strengthened our team by bringing in two venture partners uh, to the firm and we uh, are now able to get in this new world native consumer internet experience which was not the case uh, when we started the firm because that time consumer internet uh, didn't exist so i think it's a very good opportunity to add uh, talent to our organization uh, which we are doing uh, in a very methodical way uh, we continue to be series a and series b uh, investor in the consumer internet uh, domain so no there is no change in our strategy we keep looking for the next big uh, disruptor uh, around the consumer internet theme and uh, our portfolio is progressing very well i think what has stood us very well through this very uh, difficult time for the industry uh, is the fact that we are a fundamental uh, tech investor we really don't chase uh, valuations we chase uh, value creation given that all of us were company builders ourselves between ashish myself and rahul so we built a very high quality portfolio uh, which has not gone through any serious uh, degradation even during this turbulent times because we have backed scalable management teams who are very uh, very frugal very good with their capital efficiency focused on unit economics and a great experience great and a great customer experience so uh, those are the kind of uh, parameters that we look at when we make our uh, investments and we don't really chase trends uh, we've been now investing in consumer internet for a decade and we feel that this is a secular opportunity for at least another decade uh, so more of same uh, more continuity than change abha <laughs> continuity seems to be the the theme uh, for our chat today it's fantastic Sanjeev I think we've we've run out of time so I'm going to leave it there but it was wonderful talking to you today and thank you so much for joining us on EA
Likewise, good talking to you. That's all from us uh, this week on E Inc. Thanks for watching.